All right, this is going to be a quick math quiz, dosage questions, uh, the multiple choice answers. Uh, then I'm going to work through them on how to find the answer with the formulas. As always, I claim no ownership to any of the questions or material presented in this video as everything is sourced off the open internet. In the following slides, I have to the best of my knowledge presented the proper formulas and answers. It's a study guide for me. It's helped me learn. Uh, this time, I'm not going to do a page with a dosage sheet. I recommend you get your own familiarity with whichever ones your state use. I'm just going to be throwing them up as I solve the problems. Question number one. A water treatment plant produces 3 million gallons per day and uses chlorine gas, dosed at 7 milligrams per liter. How many pounds per day will the plant use? So you have A, 100 pounds a day, B, 175 pounds a day, C, 25 pounds a day, or D, 150 pounds a day. So if you're going to work through this yourself, I pause it because then I'm going to start working through the answer on the next slide. I like to pull up my known, my unknown. So what we know. We have a flow of 3 million gallons a day. We have a dose of 7 milligrams per liter. What we don't know is how many pounds per day the plant will use. All right, by finding the known and unknowns, it lets you know what formula you need to use to solve this math problem. We are looking for the feed rate, pounds per day. It's the Davidson pie chart. So we're going to go ahead and pull a little formula over. The feed rate, pounds per day, is equal to the dosage, milligrams per liter, times the flow, million gallons a day, times the standard of 8.34 pounds per gallon. So you go ahead and plug in your 7 milligrams a liter times 3 million gallons a day times 8.34 pounds per gallon. That's going to leave you with an answer of 175.14 pounds per day. So you just go ahead and round, and the answer to question number one is B, 175 pounds per day. Question number two. A water plant uses sodium hypochlorite, 12.5%, to disinfect the water. The target dose is 1.2 milligrams per liter. They treat 0.25 million gallons per day. How many pounds of sodium hypochlorite will need to be fed? A, 2.5 pounds per day. B, 5 pounds a day. C, 10 pounds a day. Or D, 20 pounds a day. Again, if you're going to work through yourself, pause it, try it out. I'm going to go through the next slides and do it step by step. As always, I like to pull out my known and my unknowns. What we know is the flow of 0.25 million gallons a day, a dose of 1.2 milligrams per liter. This time it gives us the purity of 12.5%. We're still looking for an unknown pounds per day. Being that our unknown is pounds per day, we're going to use the feed rate pounds per day formula. But notice this pounds per day formula is for 100% purity and this has given us 12.5% purity. So if you read the highlighted part right here with my horrible highlighter, you find the three pi wedges, you multiply them together and then we're going to divide by the percent purity as a decimal. So we have our feed rate pounds per day and our Calcium hypochlorite, pure chlorine required, divided by the percent purity. So we'll work through these problems. So you plug in your knowns, 1.2 milligrams per liter times 0.25 million gallons a day times 8.34 pounds a gallon. Again, that gives you a pure chlorine pounds per day, and it's 2.502, and that's pure chlorine. So we're going to divide it by the purity as a decimal. 
Take your 2.50 pounds per day divided by 12.5% as a decimal, so 0.125 times 100%. And your answer is 20.016 pounds. So you round that 20 pounds. Answer to question two, D, 20 pounds. Question number three, a water treatment plant operates at the rate of 75 gallons per minute. They dose soda ash at 14 milligrams per liter. How many pounds of soda ash will they use in a day? Pause it if you're going to solve it yourself, and I will answer the questions in the next slides. I like to pull out my known and my unknown. We have a flow of 75 gallons per minute, a dose of 14 milligrams per liter, and our unknown is pounds per day. We're still using the feed rate pounds per day to solve this equation. So feed rate pounds per day is dosage milligrams per liter times flow in million gallons a day. Notice our flow is in 75 gallons per minute, so we're gonna have to convert that. And again, times 8.34 pounds per gallon is a standard. There are 1,440 minutes in a day. So we're going to multiply that by your 75 gallons per minute. Do your multiplication. You get 108,000 gallons per minute. Notice you can also do this by multiplying the gallons per minute by 60 minutes in an hour times 24 hours in a day if you'd like. Now we need to convert that 108,000 gallons per minute to million gallons a day. So we're gonna divide by a million, do your division. That gives us 0 0.108 million gallons a day. We're gonna plug all this into our formula. 14 milligrams a liter times 0 0.180 million gallons a day times 8.34 pounds a gallon. That gives you an answer of 12.61 pounds per day. So the answer is A, 12.61 pounds per day. Question number four. Your storage tank has been taken out of service for cleaning. The 50,000 gallon tank must be properly disinfected before you can return it to service. The consulting firm recommends you use 25 milligrams per liter of 68% calcium hypochlorite how many pounds of calcium hypochlorite do you need to add to the water? I like to take out my knowns and my unknowns. You have your tank volume of 50,000 gallons, a dose of 25 milligrams per liter. Again, they give you the purity of 68%, and we're looking for the pounds, pounds per day, because we're going to be using the same formula. Feed rate formula, pounds per day. Like I said, they gave us a tank volume of 50,000 gallons, but it, we're going to convert that flow into a million gallons a day and still use the Davidson pie chart for dosage. So again, the feed rate for finding our pounds per day, which is 100% purity. They gave us a 68%, so we have to solve for that as well. So we're gonna take our 50,000 gallon tank, we're gonna divide it by a million to get our flow or our million gallon a day. So you get 0 0.05. We're gonna plug in our dosage of 25 milligrams a liter times 0 0.05 million gallons. It says a day, but it's just 0 0.05 million gallons because it's just a tank times a standard of 8.34 pounds per gallon. If you were using pure calcium hypochlorite, you would use 10.425 pounds. Notice how they have the answer A that looks pretty similar, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet because that is pure. They gave us 68%. So we're gonna do our pure chlorine required divided by the purity formula. 10.425 pounds a day divided by 68% as a decimal, 0.68.
That gives you the answer of 15.33 pounds per day. The answer to question number four is B, 15.3 pounds a day after you round. Question number five. You must maintain 0.5 milligrams per liter chlorine residual in the finished water with a chlorine demand of 1.5 milligrams per liter. The pumping rate is 300 gallons per minute. How many pounds of 65% calcium hypochlorite will be fed during 12 hours? A, 5.5 pounds, B, 7.2 pounds, C, 11.1 .1 pounds, or D, 13.2 pounds? Again, pause to answer yourself. I will continue on the next slides to do the formula. I can pull out my known and my unknown. We have a flow of 300 gallons per minute. We're looking for a residual of 0.5 milligrams per liter. The demand is 1.5 milligrams per liter and the purity is 65%. What we do not know is the dose or the pounds. So we're going to have to do some conversions and some extra steps. So first of all, we have our stuff we've been using, our feed rate pounds per day, because we're looking for pounds, but we don't have a dosage. So we're going to have to solve for the dosage. And again, it's a purity of 65%, so we'll have to solve for that as well. So chlorine dosage is equal to the chlorine demand plus the chlorine residual, which are given to us. Plug in your 1.5 milligrams per liter plus your 0.5 milligrams per liter. That's going to give us a dosage of 2.0 milligrams per liter. Next, we need to find our flow. Pay attention on this one. It is a 12 hours. So we're going to do 300 gallons a minute times 60 minutes in an hour and divide that by a million multiply that by 12 hours. It's going to give you an answer of 0.216 million gallons. Plug that into your formula. 2.0 milligrams per liter times 0.216 million gallons times 8.34 pounds per gallon you get a feed rate of 3.60 pounds per day at 100% purity. So we're going to have to divide that by the purity as a decimal. 3.60 pounds a day divided by the 65% as a decimal, 0.65. That gives you an answer of 5.54 pounds. So the answer is A, 5.5 pounds after you round. Question number six. How many gallons of 12% sodium hypochlorite are required to treat 150,000 gallons per day with a desired residual of 0.8 milligrams per liter and a chlorine demand of 0.6 milligrams per liter? Note, 12% sodium hypochlorite is 1.2 pounds per gallon available chlorine as the active ingredient weight. The answer A, 1.75 gallons, B, 1.46 gallons, C, 3.2 gallons, or D, 5.5 gallons. So what we have is our known a flow of 150,000 gallons per day, a residual of 0.8 milligrams per liter, a demand of, six, demand of 0.6 milligrams per liter, purity of 12%, as available chlorine, 1.2 pounds per gallon. Our unknown is our dose. And notice in this one, they're looking for the gallons. So how many gallons a day, not pounds per day. So to get the feed rate in gallons per day, it is the flow million gallons a day times the dose times 8.34 pounds divided by the active ingredient weight. So it's a little bit different because we're looking for gallons a day, not pounds. So we need to find our chlorine dose. That's one of our unknowns. 
Again, the chlorine dose is the demand plus the residual. So 0.6 milligrams per liter plus 0.8 milligrams per liter. It's going to give you a dose. The dose is 1.4 milligrams per liter. We need to convert our 150,000 gallons per day to a million gallons. So you're going to divide that by a million. I just did a little different this time to show how it cancels out because it's one over a million. So you divide get 0.15 million gallons a day. So plug everything in 0.15 million gallons a day times 1.4 milligrams per liter times 8.34 pounds a gallon divided by 1.2 pounds a gallon. That gives you an answer of 1.459 gallons per day. You round, it's 1.46. Notice that if you'd solved for pounds per day, it would have given you 1.75. So you'd have thought you had the right answer, but you, but you didn't because you were doing pounds instead of gallons. All right, so that was a quick six question multiple choice quiz with the answer solved step by step. Hopefully that helps you out.